Okay, so here is uh, Dalton Avenue in Pittsfield, right at the border of Pittsfield and, and Dalton, the city. And uh, this is the entrance to 1215 Dalton Avenue. And as we kind of go up the driveway, you can see over here to the left, um, coming up, is the main house there and this is the like the pagoda and uh, when it was in good condition there was a staircase that came down uh, seating area right there and there was a a pond and what the folks tell me that lived around here it contained fish and uh this is going around to the left side of the shed. And uh, this was a garden, a really beautiful rock garden at one time. So as we go around, we see the dimensions of the, of the shed. It is eight and a half feet long, eight and a half feet wide. And so the intention is to add an addition that will come off of this right where the barn yard, the barn doors are. The addition would uh, be there and go out in an L shape toward the main house. And then there would be a doorway coming off the new structure. Uh, that would be the, the, um, the main doorway. And this is a view down to Dalton Avenue where we came in. And the whole idea is to have a privacy barrier. Right now, with all of the trees there, that privacy barrier is already there. But we want to uh, increase the level of, of privacy. This is a southern sun. This area gets sun pretty much all day long. Um, at 8 o'clock, I come out here, and even before, in the summertime, and the sun is shining bright, and then all the way through pretty much the rest of the day. So as we scan around over to the other side, we see um, that's a, um, a Japanese maple right there, which I definitely don't want to get rid of. I love Japanese maples. And um, that's my, you know, my bag garden there. Um, so right there um, by the structure, by the, the shed, there's a water wheel. So we're going to go up close on it in a little bit, and you'll get a chance to see it as we kind of scan around towards the other side. So now we're headed towards the driveway, uh, kind of going around it clockwise, and you can see the water wheel a little better. And like I said, back in the day, that water wheel was an active uh, water wheel. People would come from all around in the area uh, to see this water wheel moving, you know, and the fish below. It was a great attraction for people in this area. So I still, um, um, intact of course it needs some, some a lot of work uh, and um, this right here is the stairway going down to the to the pagoda and again you can see Dalton Avenue and as we come all the way around and of course there's the, the pond there covered up because uh we had a mosquito problem. It needs to be drained, and I just have not done that yet. All right, so there you go. There's a more expanded view of the shed uh, and the backyard in general. You see how it goes down in a slope? Perfect for the idea of the water dragon hideout. That kind of sloping down, you know the body of the dragon coming across the new structure from one side of the uh, shed to the 
other side, which is this side that we're looking at, and then down into the pond. And here we get a further view. And uh, much more of a view standing back, but also you get a view of the main house, which has five bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. And uh, it's under, under construction. We're doing a lot of work inside of there too. But this is our main thing. And here we have a, uh, a drawing of the, of the water dragon. And it, as you can see, it's coming across the, and this is the other side of the house where the main body of the dragon is. And this is the front, is the doorway. And this doorway would come off of the new structure. And here we have like an aerial view.